16, James 5, verse 16. James 5, verse 16. Can we quickly go there? Confess your faults or sins to one another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. Say the effectual, effectual. fervent, fervent. Prayer, prayer of the righteous man availeth much. Very important. Now listen here. The Bible says that the effective or factual, effective means that producing a strong impression or respond, producing a strong impression or respond. You have to be able to pray a prayer out of the desperation of your heart, which can produce strong impression and respond. Very striking when you are praying. For you to make your prayers heard, you, it has to be effectual, very strong. Some of us, when we pray, you come here, we are praying, you just watch others pray because they are praying so violently and you are relaxing. You are not praying effectually or fervently, effectively. It must come with a strong impression, striking force, letting heaven know because many people are trying to reach out to God. Many people are trying to get their knees to God. There's a jump in the heavens. Only those who are coming with effectual, effective are penetrating. And there are demons also which are trying to block. Because where is God? He's in the third heaven. Who dwells in the second heaven? Who dwells in the second heaven? The devil, I came to announce to you, is not in hell. The devil is not in hell. The devil is occupying the second heaven. And you and I, where do we occupy? No, the first heaven. We are here in the first heaven. The devil is occupying the second heaven. The devil, some of us are deceived thinking the devil is in hell. No, no, no. It is sinners who obey the devil who are in the devil's paradise called hell. The devil and his demons are punishing them there. But God is in the third heavens, Satan's second heaven. So now, if you pray from the second heaven, it must go through what? The second, the second heaven. And who occupies the second heaven? The demons and principalities and the devil. So if your prayers are not effective, the demons will block it. It will not even get to heaven. In the same way, to when heaven is answering your prayers, when it is coming, it must pass through what? The second heavens to the first heaven. And so if there's no reinforcement of you continually praying again, you will not receive answers because the principalities, like the prince of Persia, that blocked Daniel's prayer from being heard, will also block angels from bringing your answers. So those who don't pray again miss out. First, they miss out because if their prayers are not penetrating, demons will block it. And even if God answers their prayers and it's coming down, if they don't pray again, that's what they're going to be praying 21 days and continually, continually. And so there was reinforcement of angel Michael to come and rescue Gabriel for him to bring the answers. Some of you, until you pray again, you will not receive what you are looking for. Because there's a contention in the heavenlies. It's whether you are praying again or you are not praying will determine whether you are going to receive that miracle or the devil is going to win the victory over you. And that's why you have to do what? Pray again. Say, I'll pray again. I'll pray again. I'll pray one more time. I'll pray one more time. Some people will tell you that praying again means that you don't have faith. But today I will disprove that to you. That if you want to receive your miracle concerning anything God has promised you, you must pray and pray again. In order to receive what you have. Because the devil will fight you. The devil will oppose you. The devil will deny you. The devil will say no to you. But you say, devil, I'm not going to take no for an answer. Say, devil, 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 demons, demons, principalities, principalities, evil powers. I will not take no for an answer. 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 In the name of Jesus. I will pray again. I will pray again. I will pray again. I will believe again. I will believe again. I will trust again. I will trust again. I will hold on again. I will hold on again. I will pray again. I will pray again. Pray again. Hallelujah. Only those who believe pray again. And then we go on to say the effective, fervent, 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 effective praying with an impression, with a striking response, fervent, having or showing great warmth or intensity of spirit great warmth and intensity 
of spirit. Somebody who is praying fervently. Intensity of spirit. Ask yourself, that what you are believing God for. How is your spirit intensive about it? How passionate do you tell God to do it for you? Do you really want God to bring back your husband? Do you really want God to restore your marriage? Do you want God to restore your health? Do you want God to bless your finances? How intensity is your spirit concerning the passion that you have? And I thank God when I saw the word, the warmth, having or showing great warmth, warmth, not cold. If your prayer is not hot, it's not striking. Pray with what? Warmth. And some of us pray some cold prayers. Oh God, you know my knees. You know, you know. Please, you are joking. You are joking. You are not praying fervent. Fervent. With intensity of spirit. Enthusiastic. Oh God, I will never give you peace until you save my husband. Oh God, I will never accept this barrenness. Oh God, this is my year. Amen. This year, I will never allow me to go through this month. This year, until I, there's a change of career or job or immigration. Intensity. Somebody who is intense about what they want and they go to God and they release that passion to God in prayer, telling God to change their life. That's what I believe Jesus did. And God had it because if you read the prayer of Jabez, it's very simple. It's not just the simplicity, it was about the passion, the effectiveness, and the fervency. Some of us come here and we want to pray a cold prayer, and you watch some people pray their hot prayers. No wonder from basement to one house and to now three garage and five bedroom apart. But if you come here, we are praying hot, 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 hot prayers. If you key into the hot prayers, your destiny will change. Amen. If you keep on being the cold, cold, cold prayers, which is a wizard, what flies? Flies, you see flies. You see when they see hot food, you think the hot fly no. will step on it. No. But when it is cold, they can play on it. When your prayers are hot and it's ascending to the heavens, Witches and wizards and principalities give away. This is for what? Let's yes. not temper with it. Because the kind of intensity and fervency and impressing this woman is praying, don't even mess up, devil, with my prayers. <laughs> but if you pray cold, ice cream prayers. <laughs> oh, Mary Madeline, mother of God, you created Jesus. Love, love, love. Okay, continue. And I realize that the intensity determines the speed of your answer. So if you are so desperate and praying fervently and effectively, you will receive your restoration, your deliverance speedily. And the person who is praying the ice cream prayers, the same prayers that she will receive in 10 years time, somebody with an intensity and fervency will receive it in one month. While somebody received the same prayers in 10 years. It's all about the fervency and intensity of spirit. So when Hannah went into the house of God, she said to herself, enough is enough. The husband told her that, am I not more than 10 children that you are looking for? She said, husband, get thee behind me. She told God, in fact, she was so desperate in spirit that she could not even utter words. That the man of God thought she was drunk. That was intensity. And when she left the place, her life was never the same. Amen. It's your intensity. Amen. If you come into the house of God and you don't have that desperation, you'll be living, coming, going, coming, going, and all the same. But when your intensity of spirit is so much fervent and effective, things begin to happen around you. Because you are ready for the miraculous. Amen. Effective, producing strong an impression or respond, striking. And also having an intended or expected effect. Intended effect. You know 